What's good, superstars? Back with another Cryptoids video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Ah, pretty good. You? Oh, 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 oh! I can't even see that last last fisticuff that you gave me. But uh, you're getting really speedy with those hands, guys. If you are new here, do not forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. You can also become the superstar VIP, two ninety nine a month. All you gotta do is hit the join button underneath the video um it's you're gonna get a nice star next to your name you're gonna level up through the process as the months go on and you're gonna be able to brag on which color star you have and people are gonna see it anytime that you comment we love your comments keep them coming uh down below also you'll get access to any of our drop spreadsheets our price prediction spreadsheets first dibs on any merch star in the universe at the end of every single month and we're just going to keep on bringing more and more utility as this thing goes um also trying to find my mouse here twitter instagram and tiktok if you want to follow us we have a discord with a special cryptoys channel in the discord that link is in the description as well and also a p.o box if you want to send us something and become a superstar hall of famer shout out to all of the great vips who continue to support us on a daily basis i mean rarely we see anybody drop off of this list you guys are incredible and the most diamond hands people for membership that i've ever seen in my life um but not only that, we uh, we started something yesterday, and I think we're gonna we're not gonna do it daily, but we're gonna do it a little <laughs> bit more often, at, or I guess uh, than we've been doing before. But we want to give back a little bit more um, because we've been so overwhelmed by all the support that you guys have been giving us. And there's some people who just stand out and just continue to support us in the comments and the DMs, all that. And yesterday we gave one or two days ago it was Mitchell Locklear, um, who's who's been a great supporter. And today we have another superstar spotlight. Rob, maybe you should announce this one. This guy's the man. He's the real man. He has supported us day in, day out. He continues to always speak with us in our DMs. We talk back and forth, bouncing ideas off. He's been a strong supporter of our channel. And that, and we have a lot of them, by the way. But Steve VV, he is the man. He is always supporting us. We appreciate you. We appreciate all your support. We, we I really appreciate all the conversations that we have. Uh, we are glad that we were able to meet you in person, although brief, in uh, at, at Decon. Um, but we cherish that moment, and we are so happy that uh, we have an opportunity here to give back. And what do we got from Joe? We got the second Disney comic book, Fantastic Four. You've got uh, basically an FF1, a uh, little bit of a spinoff with Minnie Mouse and uh, Mickey Mouse and Donald and Goofy in there. Um, so definitely one of our favorites and uh, as us being disney guys uh we always love those disney spinoffs so steve evie thank you so much for the continued support and always doing it out of like never to do it for anything you guys always do it for nothing and uh it's just to show us genuine support so i think that's something that we like to reward as often as we can to me and rob we've got a bunch of stacks of stuff a lot of people donated stuff to us to give away now it's time to start giving it back to you guys so uh shout out to you steve evie base yeah, and of course, there's so many of you watching right now that have supported us throughout the years. I'm, I'm at, we could say years, we're over one now. So, yeah. uh, throughout <laughs> the years, right? So, we, we appreciate all of you and we want to start slowly giving back. And, and there's, there's, we have thousands to pick from here. We have thousands yeah. of, uh, of, uh, of subscribers and we appreciate every single one of them. So, thank you guys so much. Yeah. All right. So let us get into our Twitter here quickly. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a, a jumble here because now we're covering so much, Rob. We're covering. So, I feel like we're so overwhelmed. But anyways, um, shout out to uh, Superstar Ryan, who he had a little bit of issues with his VV account today. Uh, at, at first, he just couldn't log in. He had some login issues. Uh, but uh then he, he emailed support and they said, actually, you're permanently banned forever um, for doing all of this illegal activity. And we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We sent another tweet out. We said, listen, Vivi, maybe you guys can take a look at this. This guy's been a super cheerleader for you guys. He's been uh, never speaking poorly of Vivi. Um, go check it out. And uh, they did very, very, very quickly remedy that situation. So you got to give props to Vivi where props is due. It's not a coincidence. I mean, we've seen this before with Vivi where, you know, and people laugh about it. They think it's not true, but... Vivi does listen to the community. Sometimes we put out videos within a day or two. We see a change. Like it, it was a little bit more last year than now. Uh, but but I think they do actually listen and watch. I think they actually watch YouTube videos and they actually watch uh, Twitter and they're reading comments on Twitter. And if you you know us as as two uh, you know people within the community that have at least somewhat more of a platform maybe than Ryan in the sense because he just has Twitter. We have Twitter and YouTube. Anything we can do to help the wrongs in the community, we want to do. We want to help. Yeah. So I'm very happy that Ryan has the resolution to this because he had a scary email. It said, you are permanently 
banned. Strong <laughs> words from Vivi yeah. for something that probably wasn't that you know big of a deal or warranted. But he doesn't know for sure. They they haven't cleared that up. They just said he's not he's not banned and to be careful with what he does in the near future. Um, so I mean, just don't do anything nefarious, guys. And I think you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, speaking of though, VV um, starting to step it up. I think this quality on this uh, Star Wars drop coming on Friday is is uh, it's up there. It's one of their best, and uh, the sound the animation uh, on this Rancor are looking really really cool. My, my heart raced a little bit when it roared. I was kind of a little bit scared when it roared at me. I mean, maybe you could play it. I think you got a video going right yeah, now. Yeah, I got sound, so you guys should be able to hear. Pretty good. Oh, it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely one of the better ones that we've seen. Here's that. Our, here's the email that you got uh, scaring them, and that's our, our note. So we're glad that's sorted out, and uh, we let them know. Thank you for sorting it out very quickly. Also, and speaking of another platform that we used to cover. Uh, since whenever they were starting to do stuff was uh, McFarland Digital Toys. Um, looks like they're starting to gear up again. Uh, present and future McFarland Toys Digital XP system. So this is basically their MCP version um, okay. and a little bit of an article explaining it. If you want to go check out Trevor's tweet there, uh, that's something you guys can check out. Yeah, McFarland, McFarland's been a tricky one. We like the quality. We think that the project has true ownership. It, the the yeah. NFT does live in your wallet and then you can use their platform in order to display it. But we're still waiting for the metaverse capabilities. That was the, one of the main things that attracted us to that project. And at least they have the MCP kind of style where they have the point system. Uh, but there hasn't been a lot of real action on their end. It's very hard for us to cover because there's really nothing for us to say. Yeah. So we have to wait and see for, for more information. As it gears up, if, uh, if it's something that we're still uh, passionate about, we'll definitely be making some content on it um as well now we are talking about a new one uh we've brought it to our channel maybe not too long ago a couple weeks ago once we learned of the disney ip um uh, that has joined cryptoys um and and not only that they've started to put out a bunch of um uh, of great content uh surrounding the drop that is coming up on the 24th of uh of may here so um, as you can see, only one week away until then, um, they've already announced all of the drop collectibles for Darth Vader and for Luke Skywalker, and they will be doing another one this week. I believe it's tomorrow um, about um, the Princess Leia variant. So yeah. um, that that's going to be cool. I really like those. If you haven't been to one of them, they're live streams, and they have basically people from their art team who actually designed the collectibles go through it and explain like what they were thinking and how they're doing. I really like that. I like the time spent explaining, uh, and, and it just gives you a little bit more insight into the company. We'll see how long they can keep that up for. I mean, if they if you look at Vivi, the way that they put out drops, yeah. there is no time for that level of detail in each drop. But right mm -hmm. now, they have the time. They've given themselves a three week leeway. And they're going hard on the marketing. They're marketing this like in ways we've never seen before. So the I have to give them credit. Their their ability to market their current product is uh, very, uh, I think, impressive. I think a lot of people in the VV community that didn't know about this is, are learning about it now. Um, so they're using they're in a little bit of a different situation than VV. VV already had the user base, but they're not really marketing outside of that user base. Cryptoids, no one knew about it. I mean, people knew about it, but it had not the same level of of of, of eyes that it does now that it has the Disney um, deal, deal. And they are reaching now into the VV community and they're reaching into other communities. They're sending, they're doing, they're running live streams with their team, uh, talking about the collectibles, showing behind the scenes imagery of the collectibles, uh, having conversations on these live streams. They're doing things right now into new communities, which is going to help them grow. We'll see if they can keep going forward and keep, you know, reaching out into the masses. But for now, I think it's working for them until they grow that base to a point where they can then continue with that momentum. But they still have a long way to go. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see how this drop's going to go, but I, I like what they're doing so far. I like what you mentioned there. It's a, it's cool to see how they advertise or, or market a little bit differently. We have been on those live streams and we have seen some powerful influencers in the chats over there. Yeah, that are not wondering. are not associated with Vivi. So I mean, they are getting some pull outside of Vivi. Um, curious how that will um, expand their reach uh, and if it will bring new people into the space in general, which those people might end up finding Vivi as well. So like, it's going to work both ways. If you get new people into the space. People who are covering this, a lot of VV influencers covering this project um, might be helping bring, it's going to go both ways. It's going to be a, a two-way street, right? That, that, that was interesting though. That 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 influencer that we saw has some serious power. So 
uh, especially in the collectible world. But uh, we'll, I don't know. I, won't, I'm, I'm, I have questions about that. I'm going to save them for now. Maybe, maybe we can get someone from the team who can ask our questions. Uh, so if we get someone from the team who can ask some questions, then maybe we'll ask some more questions about that 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 yeah. situation. So there you go. Um, and then uh, speaking of the team, shout out to Steph. Um, she's she's one of the of the team members. They're very very um, vocal on Twitter and easy to get a hold of. Uh, talk to if you have any questions. Jay Clemente, another another uh, guy. He, I think he's in Vivi as well. So he's he's been a, a cheerleader for for the project as well. He landed a Grail here um from the masters of the universe drop so he got the panthor grail version looking really really clean there maybe we will too we'll find out i'm curious to see uh og vault is getting an uh interview with will the ceo of crypto so uh that is coming out tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock eastern so if you want to ha- hear any of the questions that he has for will um tomorrow make sure you go tune in and check that out um, yeah. and then maybe there will be further questions in a future interview at some point maybe maybe <laughs> uh, this is cool. So I don't know if you guys seen this. There's a big giveaway happening at uh, Crypto Sweepstakes Alert. <laughs> the top prize is a 20 toy pack. And I mean, these aren't the cheapest toys. They're 40 bucks each. So 20 times 40, you're looking at a decent prize right there. They're quite pricey. No marketplace, yeah. but quite pricey. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, we, 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 I can't wait to hear more about this project as we as we get into it. Fantasy Kingpin, that's another influencer that's been pretty big on Vivi on Twitter. Uh, I remember dealing with them a long time ago uh, in the early days of EV1 giveaways were a thing and Fantasy King Pins was a, a big part of that. So um, I'm glad to see a lot of people uh, receiving this very, very well. Um, My Collectibles, another another great influencer in the in the VV community. Um, he's a big Star Wars fan, so uh, he's jumping on board. So you can tell that there's some power behind this. A lot of people like the IP, but uh, there's sometimes that IP comes out and people are maybe not too... Um, excited to this this is looking like they're doing everything right the right so far um it's going to be interesting to hear what do you have to say in some of these amas here is that sweepstakes um one winner will be getting the 20 toy pack which is 800 dollars value three winners will be getting a five toy pack um so a 200 dollars value and then five winners will be getting a subscription to disney plus so if you had any questions about the disney license partnership uh it does look like uh they're trying to push that with these prizes as well yeah, the one, <laughs> the Disney Plus subscription kills me. It makes me really wonder what's going to come next. Like, I, we the Star Wars is, this, this is how they're starting off with some pretty cool stuff. I want to start seeing, like, do, does this mean that they just have Star Wars or do they actually have other Disney yeah. characters? I would I would like to know. Like, it'd be pretty cool if we see more of some of our favorite friends from uh, from Vivi, like or the Pixar pals. It'd be cool if there's, like, a Woody or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so you know, you guys know how I think about that. I got some timestamps with with that uh, with that. So it would be cool if I can if I can go to the bar and show my friends two Woodies, one from Cryptoys and one from VB. But anyways, that that would be funny. Um, and I and I really like the aesthetic. Like they're, they're very comparable to like Funko Pops and and something actually just dropped on Funko, which is a, a train for the hundredth anniversary. Um, the front is 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 uh, Walt Disney, and then he's pulling Steamboat Willie, and then that yeah. the next one over is darth vader so that's cool uh, they're showing that that star wars is very very entrenched with disney um yeah but i i always like to look at comparables from other um uh, projects and and toy companies to see maybe the type of ip that they're able to have access to because i think in the digital space very very comparable um, yeah so uh, i do want to announce that we do have um a few boxes to open from uh these cryptoids over here as you'll see um these were gifted to us by Cryptoids themselves um, so that we can show you guys the process of the unboxing. You guys can see if it's something that maybe you want to do um, moving forward. These are from the Master of the Universe sets. So uh, there's another set called, um, it's called <coughs> Zoo FO Escape. And that I think is the OG set, which is the backstory. If you ever go to the, their website and you check out their backstory, you'll see uh, a bunch of characters. Those guys are from that set, but these are from the Mattel partnership. Um, so Masters of the Universe. Uh, so this this middle box is actually, I believe, the first set. Rob, you have the the website pulled up with the characters that we can pull from this. Yeah. So just a, just a quick review here. So um, there's gonna these are the different characters right here. Actually, I'll get their names. So it's He Man, Battle Cat, Evil Lin, and Triclops. And if you you can kind of look at them and figure out who's who if you don't really yeah. know. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious who the Triclops is. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, okay. So if you scroll down at the bottom, we got the common rarities right here. Uncommon, rare, epic, and then legendary, 
and then Grail, and then Ultra Grail. So yeah. we're, we're, we're looking for one of these blue dudes right here. I think that would be uh, a pretty good score if we can if we could have the Juju. <laughs> Juju's universal, guys. It's in every part of our lives. All projects. It doesn't, it's just not all VV. Juju's everywhere. So let's give it a shot. All right, so let's pull over to my screen again. Now we've never done this. We're gonna we're gonna do this live with you guys. Basically, when you whenever you do buy a pack, it will end up in your backpack. So you click the backpack link, and uh, you scroll down a bit to your Cryptoys cubes, and then you will click on the cube, and it will teleport you. And all we have to do is click begin unboxing, uh, and then there's an experience. So like this is this is something that's new to us. I believe that's one of the OG characters over there. Uh, so let's click continue. We went through a portal there right now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I can do this cube. You got the skull in the background there. So this is pretty cool. We gotta do the Rubik's cube here. Tap and hold the crypto cube to unbox. So tap and hold. All right. I think I did it. I don't know. They they make sure they give extra time so that you <laughs> you have a chance to back off. I, I'm holding. Maybe let go. I let go. I'm just gonna click it a bunch of times. Oh, there you go. That works. <laughs> no, you gotta work on the top and hold. Yeah. Oh. oh we got, I, we got so that that one there is actually. A, uh, hold on. Let me pull you up here. Hold I on think I second. muted it for you guys. All right, let me pull you up here. So she has her arms out. This can't be the common. It's not not the uncommon. It, I think it's a different pull. I think it's the common. I think it has to be the common. If you take Hold a look on here. A I can't hear anything. You can't, you can't hear me, eh? You can't hear me. Turn it back on then. I can't hear anything. Hold on. Let me go back. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I, I, I'll talk in the background. Don't worry, Joe. Okay, so I turned, I turned off the sound. Um I had to. Yeah. I had to exit that screen. It was just like screaming music at me. It was too. Uh, you couldn't take it. You couldn't take it. No. So we got uh, the common ev evil in, yeah. right? It was the common. I didn't. I it threw me off at first because her arms were out, and this one is holding the arms like this. I believe we got the common though. It's just they have different poses. Yeah, right? it says common. Uh, so like, if I go to our backpack now, we should be able to see. I'll pull that back up. You pull should be able up. to see that we have. Uh, if it wants to go there. Yeah, let's take a look because the back that should be gone now, and it's gonna be now a package case that I yeah. think we can open if we want, Oop. right? So it's it starts off as a package case, and then you have a decision whether you want to unwrap that package or you can uh, you can open it and use it in like some kind of like metaverse world that you have shown there. Mm -hmm. So it looks so, like there, there's a little bit of a lag on the on the website right now, but there you go, it's in. So our first our cubes are gone, but now you can see our wrap toy. Yeah. Evil in. So I think we're going to leave them wrapped and then one, uh, and you can see the number here. So we got first edition, it's a hero cool. here, and number 431 to 54400. Five, so we got a three digit, not bad. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so I think we did that. Now we're going to open them and then maybe we'll play around with one of them at the end after, uh, yeah. depending on which one, which ones we get here, right? Sure. Um, yeah. Let's do, let's do the next one. So what's this? So wave I two? believe this is the second set. So we want to pull up what we can get there. All right. Let me pull it up here. So we got, okay. So the characters are, Oracle, Beastman, Tila, and Trap J. Okay. So okay. if you take a look down here, you got a commons or just kind of like their standard colors. Uncommon, they're kind of doing some cool, like uh, aggressive movements. Rare, they're like a little bit discolored. Uh, epic, uh, looks like they're also just completely different, different colors. colors. Legendary, they kind of have a white tone. Grail, they have a black tone. And Ultra Grail, they have the blue the blue so yeah. that's going for the blue seeming pretty consistent now after i open this i'm gonna backspace it like immediately because the sound just deafens me <laughs> okay okay <laughs> so learned, if we're okay. doing these unboxings on the, <laughs> on the screen here it's it's tough all right, um, all right. i do, have put the sound it. back on so let's let's see what we get here. we don't want to you don't we don't want you to just go deaf yeah i was like what's going on here i can't yeah. like go watch that back but anyway um begin unboxing so here we go again let's see what happens Hey, Joe, can you hear me? Yeah, it's so loud. I don't know how to lower like the volume <laughs> on the screen. And this is the thing too, like this, you got we got to figure out a way to make this a, a cleaner unbox. Like if I either click it and it opens, like try tap it, try and hold it. them up, it does not work. All right, well, the button mash is always good. 
Yeah, button mash is the way. I think. All right, tap and hold then. We have a few different tries. It just takes some time. They got to they gotta clean up the unboxing for sure. Let's see what happens. Maybe there's like a code. I got to like <laughs> up, up, down, down. There's, right a, there's right. a trick. Click and hold for a little bit. And then what, yeah. last time you clicked and held it, you got a mash. There you go. You see how everything disappeared? Try now. Now let to, go. Yeah, you let go. To the button mash now. See if it works. Yeah, it's a little bit. There you go. There it a little bit for sure. It goes away. When you tap and hold, it goes away. Epic. Yeah, I got the epic. There we go. So we got the Tila Epic. Nice, uh, nice. Oh, what's okay. the mint number? If I push back, it just shows you this. So our what's mint the... number is number 71 out of 600. Pretty so, good. Pretty good. Uh, Two digit. Skin is salad. So it's like a, a, a vegan version. It looks like a broccoli. Yeah, it looks pure, <laughs> pure vegetable. Pure <laughs> it's vegetable, a vegetable version. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah, we got a meter is a nine. I don't know what that means. We're yeah, going to learn a lot. Yeah, salad tila. <laughs> well, if you guys let us let us know below if you if you if you are familiar with this, let us know below because we're new to yeah. this. To this, what does the statometer mean? What does it mean? Is it related to maybe some future gamification? I don't know. Let yeah. us know. Okay, so let us go back to our backpack. Um, now we have our two salad tila and 1983 evil evil Lynn. Um, and this is the third one. So why don't you pull that up on your screen? Okay, so let's pull it up. Here we go. Let me go to the top. Skeletor. Uh, That's the one that everybody wants, I think, yeah. Panthor, Sorceress, and Man at Arms. All right. So we got the common. Take a look at the common here. So just their standard colors. Uncommon, they got that aggressive stance yet again. A little bit of discoloration in the rare. We got another veggie. Got another yeah. veggie. Uh, epic. Uh, pretty cool. You got uh, kind of like a gold rainbow. We got the fourth. We got the fourth level on that last one. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Legendary, yeah. they have the whiter tones, like usual. Grail, they have the black, and then Ultra Grail, they have the uh, the uh, the blue, blue, blue tone. So we'll we'll try our luck one more time. Okay, last time. Let's hope for a Skeletor. This would be really cool. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be a that'd be a cool one. All right, let's see what happens. Let's All see right. if we can let's see if we can do this properly this time. So, so I think you, you got to click and hold until it goes away in the bottom right corner, and, and then and then button mash. All right, it's a learning process. All right, so. Oh. Let it tell me to click and hold first. All right, so tap and hold the cube. All right, we're tapping and holding. Oh, maybe you like move your mouse around while you're holding. Let's see what happens. I think you're good now. I think you're good now. You can button mash over here. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's the way. Tap, hold, and button mash. This is the way. This is the way. We're teaching you guys why. Ooh, calm Man at arms. All right. All right. Pretty cool. So he's um, not the one that I wanted, but um, I think this one may be the one where we unwrap. What do you think? Yeah, let's unwrap it. Let's um, unwrap them and let's see Because the, the other one's the first series. Let's. This is the third series. It's not maybe the most sought after one. Yeah. So let's. Unwrap right. this guy. Let's walk around with him. Let's see what happens. I think his mid number was like three something, anyways. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I unmuted it now. Um, he does like a little action jump out, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's going to be curious to see what the Star Wars guys do when they exit the boxes. But that uh, would be, yeah, it would be interesting. So press any key to start. Where's the any key? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Good one, Joe. Funny. Good one, Joe. <laughs> Zoom, camera, and then WSA. See, I know you well enough to know that's a joke, but you know, the other guys watching, they may not know that. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's do it. Boom, all right. camera, walk, this run, is, This tap. has like McFarlane vibes all over it, the WASD. Yeah, exactly. But it's yeah. very, very – we got we to gotta get some uh, 
improvements or I got to get a better computer. I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh, here we go. Slow. It's very slow. Laggy for me. Slow it. Slow down. Okay. Try hitting the W. See if you can walk around. Oh, he's doing something. Oh, look at the volumes in the corner there. All right. Still low. I think enough. it's just literally really slow. Could be. There it is. This yeah, is, it just load, it's just loading. But we don't forget, we're str- we are streaming. So there's a possibility yeah, that, that with the streaming, maybe it's uh, it's a little bit laggy. Yeah. But Could but be. others who, who may have done this, you can let us know below if this is typical for you, if you find that it's slow loading. <laughs> but That's true. I wonder if he's going to run slow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Super laggy. Yeah. Now, we don't know for sure. Could It could be that we're streaming. I don't know. Uh, but – We'll have to try it after the stream because, again, this is all live. We had no idea what to expect. We did it live on the video. This is the first time we're yeah. seeing any of this stuff. So this is like a, just like awesome. an actual our experience from the first time doing this. Yeah. I mean, the back of his head looks really nice. I'm just trying to, <laughs> trying to turn it around. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It might be, we might be capped out due to our streaming. You might be right. Yeah, but the the function I've seen videos of this run pretty smooth, so we'll try it after the stream just to see. Um, yeah, the fact that there's running. this open space, though, we don't know what they have planned. Like, is this open space going to be some kind of like metaverse world they want to build? Um, is this going to be something that you can actually interact with other players? Like, I th- I think that's the way that they're going, right? Some form of gamification, uh, and this is going to be the platform of how they're going to do that. So. Pretty cool. I mean, at least we have an idea now. We have our box opening that we've shown uh, all the superstars. Um, yeah. May 24th, I think, is their drop. So if you're interested in that, they do have the Star Wars drop coming up on May 24th. Uh, so I think it's a $40 listed price or is it $60? I can't remember. These are 40 or 60 Yeah, they're, um, they're $39.99. Yeah, okay. So $40, $40 listed price. So, yeah. guys, we want to hear your thoughts. Today, Joe and I opened it fresh, clean. Thank you, Cryptoys for giving us these three collectibles that we were able to open um, on stream. Obviously, many of you may experience what we experienced for the first time, so hopefully you can learn from what we did. Uh, now that we've done it, you, you're prepared. If you do decide to purchase one, now you know exactly what you got to do. Uh, we're looking forward to playing with the uh, with the platform a little bit more, learning more about the platform and what is the future plans. And who knows, maybe in the very near future, there may be some more questions asked and there may be answers. But for you to know that, don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fam, and hit the bell notification button to get every single video every single day because we don't know what you're going to hit you with. You want to hear a little bit more about Cryptoids? I mean, maybe we got some answers and some interesting guests that will be coming soon. Also, Superstar VIP, two ninety nine a month at the Starbucks Center name, Ask Star Spreadsheets, uh, giveaways, merch. Guys, want to bring as much utility as possible to our memberships. Thank you, Superstar Steve VV. I mean, there's so many of you. Uh, there's so many supporters, but today's day is Steve VV's day, and thank you for your support. We appreciate you, and we will see you again. Take care, and we'll see you all again. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.